In this video, we'll be covering some best practices for admins as they set up their hierarchy. Before we begin, we encourage you to follow along in your own workspace to help you explore the ClickUp hierarchy and strategize on how you will set up and organize your own workspace with productivity in mind. The beauty of ClickUp's hierarchy is its flexibility. ClickUp's hierarchy lets you effortlessly arrange your tasks, projects, and initiatives so you can easily find and manage your work from the sidebar. But even better, the hierarchy was built with productivity in mind. It has a built-in waterfall effect. What I mean by that is that whenever you take action at a higher level in the hierarchy, that action will pass through to all the lower levels. So if you have specific settings, custom fields, or even statuses that you'd like to pass through from a space to the folder or even a list level, you can do that easily here and these fields will be inherited at the lower levels. The same thing goes for access and permissions. Whatever access and permissions you give your team members at a higher level will pass down through the lower levels of the hierarchy. For example, if you give someone access to a folder, they'll be able to see everything within that folder. And if you give someone limited permissions to interact with that same folder, they'll have the same permissions throughout the lower levels of the hierarchy. Let's go over some best practices together on how to set up your hierarchy, starting with spaces. Most often, spaces will be used for teams or departments, like a space for the marketing team. However, spaces can be used for high-level projects, like strategic planning, or really large cross-functional projects or events. As a best practice, elevate projects that require a lot of participation across multiple teams to a space level when needed. Now that you have your team space created, let's say you have projects that only your marketing team is working on. How should we set this up? If you're working on your own department's projects, start out simple with your projects as lists. Each list contains tasks or deliverables that can be completed to show the work that you've put into each project and different views can even be leveraged to help you see your work through each project. Okay, that's great for starting out. However, what if my projects become more complex over time and need to have more than one list for a project or initiative? As a best practice, if your projects require you to track multiple aspects of a project like risks, phases, or assets, you may use multiple lists in which case you may want to use folders to group these more complex projects or initiatives together. As an admin, it's your responsibility to have oversight into all of the work being created across your workspace. However, depending on the size and structure of your workspace, it's important to consider a few best practices associated with creating and managing your work in your hierarchy. To prevent confusion, maintain consistency, and ensure accuracy, consider setting up processes where admins are the primary contacts responsible for creating and managing spaces. If you have a more complex setup or trust your managers, team leads, or process owners, you can delegate the creation and management of spaces to them. By either being the main contact or assigning someone else to manage the setup and settings for each space, you ensure the consistent control over your workspace. This helps prevent disruptions or mistakes during the setup process, ensuring that work flows smoothly. If members mistakenly create spaces, it can lead to clutter in your hierarchy, making it much harder to navigate and find what you need. As a best practice, it's important to establish a process for regularly reviewing the spaces in your workspace to maintain organization and consistency. Allocating time to go over your workspace is very beneficial because it helps admins maintain an organized environment. When managing spaces, you can choose to hide them from the sidebar or choose to archive or delete them. If someone leaves your company, you can reassign space ownership and manage all aspects of your spaces through the space settings. Only admins can access and manage spaces here. And if you have permission to manage private spaces, you can do so from this section as well. In this video, we covered the benefits of the hierarchy, including how to navigate through work, as well as the waterfall effect, where all of your changes or settings affect the work in the lower levels. We also covered the best practices for setting up your hierarchy, starting with spaces for teams, lists for projects, and folders for more complex initiatives. And last, we covered best practices for managing your hierarchy and keeping a clean, organized workspace. Now it's time to try it for yourself. If you haven't done it already, 
Go ahead and create a space for your projects in the sidebar and practice showing, hiding, or even deleting spaces. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.